is Matt. Um, I just wanted to give a quick uh, update on what we're doing today. Right now we're in the Boise National Forest, right up by Loman. It's about eh, probably an hour and a half outside of Boise, Idaho. And uh, my buddy Lee and I, who you'll see on camera in a few minutes, um, we're just hiking the area. We Basically, we uh, reserved a campground in this area for a couple months ahead of time, but we wanted to see what this place had to offer before we brought a whole group of people up here to come and do some camping. So we came up here early just to do a little bit of scouting. So the place that we're at is called Park Creek, and uh, it looks really beautiful. As you can see, we have a, a nice creek here in the background, and uh, campgrounds are right over here and we're just going to walk around see what the site has to offer and we're going to be giving you a review of this place uh, thanks a lot stay tuned so one of the cool things about this campground is they actually have group sites and uh, you could have up to 200 people if the reservations are available up to 200 people and for a campsite for 100 people for two nights it's basically hundred dollars a night per hundred people so that's not too bad it's not too bad at all and as you can see in the background it's pretty densely populated here with uh with pine one of the things i will say about the creek if you have little kids just be careful with them because i didn't really see any areas that had beaches it was pretty steep getting down to the creek so that might be one concern that i would have if i was a parent which of course I am so but other than that the campgrounds look clean they look nice they have uh, bathroom facilities I haven't really inspected the bathrooms I'm guessing they're vault toilets but nonetheless they have camp rings all in all it's a pretty good site so if I see anything really interesting you know I'll stop and, and let you know A Bigfoot nest, haha! <laughs> right here, a Bigfoot nest. Look at that, complete with a little fire pit. Why would anyone put a fire pit inside one of these things, <laughs> surrounded by wood like that? But I guess Bigfoot is not the brightest creature in the world. But this is a pretty cool find. This is a really neat spot that we found. Uh, a lot of trees that are knocked over this uh, pathway it's definitely a pathway but it's not a very clear one which makes it kind of fun you know so I would say that this trail is kind of moderate uh, not the easiest trail in the world but not the most difficult but yeah I'm excited this is the first uh, <laughs> Bigfoot nest so to speak that I've ran across let's see what this side of it looks like uh, look at that Bigfoot has been busy. Nice little find. Nice little find. Okay, well, I just wanted to give you my basic impressions of this campground, just in case you're, you know, looking to make a reservation. And, you know, honestly, I looked at this place on the internet and I couldn't find a whole lot of information. I mean, you would hear, you know, reviews on, you know, Reserve America or, or whatever. They don't ever tell you the bad stuff though. They only tell you the amenities so you'll actually reserve through them so they can make some profit, you know. Um, my impressions. Well, footwear is definitely important because all the trails around here, first of all, they don't really seem to go anywhere. They just kind of go out a little bit and then stop. Uh, but it's pretty thick brush sometimes. Sometimes you're going through, you know, um, just uneven ground, jumping over creeks, a lot of brush, a lot of uh, fallen dead trees, things like that. So it's not a place to go hiking wearing flip-flops. You know, this is something that you need good footwear for. As far as the camp 
sites go, we're finding some of the campsites are fantastic. Uh, good places to pitch tents, a lot of you know open area to set up camp, and then we'll find other campsites in this place where there's no even ground in the whole campsite, which makes you wonder how is anyone going to pitch a tent here. So those campsites might be fine for someone, say, with a tent trailer or something. Now the campsite that I'm sitting at right now, campsite number nine, if it if it means anything, has a nice pull-through place for you know a big uh, RV or fifth wheel or something. Um, and this is an excellent campground right here. So it's just one of those things. Um, if you're able to make it out here ahead of time before you make your reservation, that would be choice. If not. Um, I would suggest maybe calling the ranger and asking some questions, but some of the campsites are fantastic and some of them, if you're tent camping, which is what I do, um, not so good. But other than that, um, Lee, what do you think? Are you on the shot here? Scoot on over. Oh, I think it's, it does all right. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll follow along with what you said with the, the the sparsity of some of the, the campsites and, and some of them are really good like this one. Uh, this one looks kind of like a common area kind of thing so multiple people or multiple families or something similar could actually uh, camp in this one spot which would be really nice for some people. Another thing that you don't really have to bring out firewood there's dead trees all over the place that are downed and there's plenty of firewood around here. I mean, we're looking at the campgrounds right now and, and they're already stocked with firewood that people gathered and left. So, uh, but that's right now and it's the beginning of the season. You gotta remember that. It's, uh, what, it's May 7th? Yep. May 7th. So, I mean, our reservations here are in the middle of August. So, uh, this place could look totally different then. Also, another note, I didn't see any poison ivy anywhere and I was really looking. Now I'm not saying there isn't poison ivy, I'm saying that I didn't see any poison ivy. So that's another thing. Uh, but all in all, this is a really good um, camp spot. Uh, about fishing though, we brought our fishing poles today hoping to get some fishing done in the creek. There's no real access to the creek. I mean it's pretty much straight down full of brush to get to the water. There's just no real good place to throw a line. Unless you don't mind wading in and you're a fly fisherman. That that, that would actually work, work. Yeah, that might be the exception. But for just normal Joes that just want to cast a line, not the best. But other than that, it's a beautiful place. I mean, definitely we're going to have a lot of fun when we come up here in August. But uh, yeah, well, you have a nice one. <laughs>